Hello everyone. Welcome to another SolidWorks tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you, I'm going to discuss a AutoCAD-like function in SolidWorks, which is layers. But remember, the layers in SolidWorks are not going to perform as if they were in AutoCAD, but we can use layers in SolidWorks to create some sort of uh, comprehensive drawing style. When we add different colors to a drawing, it is easy to comprehend. So let's get started and stay tuned. I have created one uh, simple 2D drawing and let's add some layers to this drawing and see how they actually perform in SOLIDWORKS environment. And also remember, we can use SOLIDWORKS layers only in 2D drawing environment. We cannot use layers in 3D part and assembly environment. Okay, now we, we here we are in the 2D drawing environment. Let's create few layers. We can access, we can create layers by accessing layers dialog box. We can open up layers dialog box using this toolbar which is line format toolbar or this toolbar which is layers toolbar. If it is not available, simply right click on this command manager area and select either layer or line format. So now from this two toolbars, you can see the layer properties command. Click on layer properties command, then you can see layers dialog box. You can add new layers using this button and you can delete the layers using this button and you can also actually move uh, sketch entities to each layers using this move button. So now I'm going to create few layers to apply for this drawing. So I will create five layers and I will label them uh, front view. I'm going to label those uh, layers to demonstrate the main concept of SOLIDWORKS layers. It is uh, mainly some sort of organized uh, structure that we can use to uh, apply colors to different part of the drawing. So now the second view I will add as uh, side view, second layer and third layer I will rename it as top view and the fourth layer I will rename it as notes and fifth layer I will e rename it as uh, let's say balloons now and this uh, first uh, format layer is usually there by default you can add uh, few entities to format layers as well if you want uh, but now I'm going to use only these five layers so I'm going to add the, select assign different colors so I will assign red color to front layer and side view I will make green and top view I will make uh, this color and notes I will make this uh, magenta color and balloons I will make uh, this color and also you can change the line style using this column by clicking you can make it solid dashed chain center line and also you can change the thickness of each lines when we when you are creating any sketch entities in the drawing and uh, this line style and thickness are not applicable to the drawing views those are applicable only to new sketch entities that you are going to draw in the drawing environment all right now we have created five layers with five different colors and click ok and now let's see how we can add one layer to this view so which is not 
very difficult things simply you have to select the view and then right click and there is a command on the context window which is component line form font so using this particular dialog box you can add the layer color into the drawing views and first of all what you have to do is that uncheck this use document default and now using this options you can apply the layer to all the views if necessary or for select form selection so i'm i'm going to add the front layer view front layer front view layer onto this only front view so i'm select from selection and here i will select drop down list front view and click ok let's try one more time we can't see the color for some reason from selection front view click ok and click on rebuild and let's try this one right click component line component uncheck default document from layers I'm going to select side view I'm going to select top view click OK the color is applied and now select side view right click and from the component line dialog box uncheck use document default from selection and select side view click ok the color is applied for some reason this color is not applied let's go back to the layers again the front view is red color so this has to be red color let's try one more time line component front view click ok just for some reason this is not appearing and there is another another thing that you have to remember uh, these layers can be applied to any view but it will be visible only when it is in wireframe mode for example when we apply any layer to this uh, isometric view now it is in it is in shaded mode so if this view is in either one of these the color will not be visible so let's right click on this view and select component line font and uncheck use document default and select from selection and now let's simply uh, use some another layer let's say balloons and click ok so now you cannot see that uh, layer colors now if even if you change this to a different uh, wireframe mode the color is applied here we go this color is already here so it's some sort of solid works bugs and now we have applied layers to each view and now let's see we want to add some notes I'm going to click here and type this one front view and click OK and this we can, you can see the layer of the notes using the property manager so it is in, now in balloons you can select the layers and select notes when you click on notes the notes layer is assigned for the notes front view notes and now let's add some dimensions so in order to add dimensions let's decide which layer we want to apply dimension to i'm going to create new layer for the dimension from the layers prop command layers property command we open up layers dialog box and select new and i'm going to create new layer called dimension and i will add new color let's say i'm going to add uh, 
this color and click OK. And when we create a new layer, it becomes the active layer by default. If you want to activate any other layer, simply click beside the name of the layer, then it becomes active. When you click on here, the nodes layer become active. So now we want dimension layer to be activated. So click on here, now dimension layer is activated, click OK. So now let's add some dimensions. All these dimensions should be on the dimensions layer simply because now the dimension layer is activated. All the layers are in dimension, all the dimensions are in dimension layer. So let's go ahead and access layer dialog box and I'm going to change this color to different, let's say this green color and click OK. And then now you can see all the entities belong to that dimension layer has changed the color as per our selection so there is another benefit of these layers let's say you want to remove some of the entities for the before printing out the documents for example if you want to send this to a customer you don't need to send particular dimensions to them so in that case what you can simply do is if you are using layers use this layer properties command and access layer dialog box and simply hide that particular layer so that the dimension wouldn't be there and also if you do not want any nodes to be presented in the drawing that you are going to give to the customer then unhide that layer as well and then click ok now you can see all the layers all the parts all the annotations and dimensions and other sketch entities belongs to those layers are hidden now you can simply go ahead and take a print out of this one. So the, this is actually really useful function and we can make the drawing very sort of comprehensive using those layers. And there is another way of changing the drawing view colors that I'm going to discuss in my next video. We can import the color of 3D part and assembly to the drawing mode itself using uh, some options without creating any layers. I'm going to show you that in my next video and I hope this is useful. Please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss my next one and thank you for watching.